thing uh, all asian people mostly uh, they believe in god so uh, all right we meet and uh, uh, believing in god actually means only when you meet or you remember anybody you must bless him or her so if you claim to believe in god and at the same time you are not blessing the other one whoever he or she is then you do not believe in god you reject god because no to god anybody is like you are to him so when we have to be in this created world we have to, and it begins with and if you don't believe him i have not to compel anybody to believe in him then you have to take the nature as such and believe in itself and then you have to be true to nature and if you are not true to nature and value yourself what you are will you value yourself as a single person he is like a beast or you are like a human being and then like a human being you live with others you must have seen some summer nights or rainy season if you come out in the evening and look to a street light or some light outside your home a large number of mosquitoes keep you know moving around it and they all keep flying 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 you must have seen the scene if not you watch it sometime then if you go to countryside sometime i mean any village or anything like that or a jungle then if you find a bee hive you'll find honey bees they are also in a group but they stick to one another they are not just flying only around you can see them they are in a mass around the bee hive they can embrace one another the question is that will the human being be like the mosquitoes just keeping flying around a light or they can be like honey bees where they don't keep gaps they work they embrace one another they hug each other and then they do a massive work and that massive work is they keep working moving in orchards in jungles in parks looking for flowers and then collecting some something from those flowers and then putting in putting it in the beehive and they provide you with the best thing that is the honey you enjoy it the honey bee never thinks of it what will you give back to it? that insect it never thinks that why should i do too much of labor and then you know if i am not getting any return and i don't even know who will have it who will eat it who will get money for it who will have its trade in it then who will ultimately consume it then which mother will provide this honey to which baby to make the baby happy and then if the baby is crying 
to make the baby silent and smile by providing that honey. So that honeybee never thinks of it. On the other hand, the mosquito, he will find an opportunity, give you a warning around the ear, and then sting you somewhere, cut you somewhere, take a little bit of your blood, and then provide you with some infection also. Maybe that can result into dengue also, malaria also. And so that's what we find in this world around. And I think you must learn to observe things very keenly. I always say that the teachers in the world where people are quite ignorant about the real creation of knowledge. They teach the students to read the books. Very good. But they don't teach to the students to read the books which are unwritten. You must learn how to read the unwritten books. The story I told you, this is quite common, but it has to be read. It has to be, and that's, you can turn your head from a person not so much careful, not so much caring, not so much keen to be one of them who are conscious people. And then if you want to have conscientiousness, you want to be true to the nature, you want to be true to yourself, then you must learn it, that how to read these books. And how many lessons you get from the things which exist around. Dear friends, this is one of the most important things which you have to watch, which you have to observe. You are going to study LLM courses with certain purposes that some of you must have opted for some stream, maybe constitutional kind of thing, whatever. There is something which definitely is related to intellectual property rights and you may have opted for that and maybe some other streams, then definitely you have something in mind. And on that basis, you must have, you know, opted for these things. And then accordingly, they must have, you know, there must have been things around at your home, in your market, in the offices, elsewhere which must have definitely impacted your decision. It can't be said that you did it by whim. No, you had something in mind and you definitely must have had consciously or not so consciously opted for it. Two th things are important then. One, you have to be very observing. Second is you have to be very decisive. Don't take anything so easy. You have heard since childhood, Sarg and Narg. This is not a felicity. This is a truth. Even if you don't believe in the life hereafter, even if you believe in this life only, but you can make it hell or you can make it heaven by your observation capacity and by your decision making. These are very important things. When you were in LLB, you were bachelors. So bachelors level of decision making is one. And when you are now in LLM, you are at master's level. Your decision making level should be different. Your observation capacity should be different. 
your thinking and analytical capacity should be different your vision should be different your region should be different your cosmos you know in your own way it should be different you must be on the way to understand the whole of the brahman that dear friends this is very important if not then you are an imitator of law you are an imitator of a petty lawyer you are an imitator of a very incompetent judge you are not then what you must be if you want to be what you must be is definitely calling extensively with force for these qualities be very observing have good ability and capacity and then take fair decisions to make this world heaven rather than hell so if you have this background this thought in your perception then definitely i am taking you into a region where you will be definitely in human society rather than the society which you generally find today in the world around today the ability is not that you are conscious and you are observing things to do the good today you are observing the things people are observing the things only to use their malicious intentions trickery and to extract from others willingly unwillingly persuasively and then to build one's own castle that is the scene around the world when we find exemplary number of books have been written for the last 3 centuries so many scholars have been produced never in human history before never so much of thought so much of communication so much of exchange of ideas and so many formal courts so many formal legislations never has this been done in human history but what is the scene is people people look for a success and success not through merit not through observing capacity not the will to do the best in terms of honesty integrity no in terms of trickery in terms of politicking in terms of leg pulling in terms of constraining in terms of coercing in terms of backbiting what not exploitation so much this is the world today and that's what makes it necessary for you to be more observing more with abilities and capacities more discerning and then definitely you have to be more decisive about the things that whether you want to be another another individual in the race to rise through trickery or to rise through honesty or what it may there may be many other options dear friends so it may be looking to you in the modern world it is so much degenerated it may be look to you as a utopia you know how can we think of it in this world then definitely there is no function of law in this world if it is a utopia then law in itself is a utopia because what are the ends of law what are the objectives of law what is the purpose of law that has to be understood if that is a utopia then this thought may also be taken as utopia if you find law is a reality then real understanding of law and real service to law and real service to the system has to 
come through the things which I am saying you and develop that ability and capacity to bear all what you find the oddities in the way. I mean, you are a law teacher. There is already a big number of lawyers who play through tricks. There is already a large number of judges who just keep listening to the parties and are doing the routine business of adjournments and favoritism. Are you going to give as law teachers, as LLMs, another big batch of same kinds of lawyers to the judiciary? Are you going to add the same number of a big number of similar kind of bureaucrats? And are you going to add a similar kind of big badge of, you know, civil uh, servants and civil, uh, uh, civil service members or social activists. I'm not naming deliberately politicians. Politician is a very good word. Politics is a very virtuous and a great great kind of task to be performed. But unfortunately, it has been putrefied. It has been putrefied to the extent that people consider it, it is the worst kind of thing. No. The reason is because we, the teachers, we are not giving to the society good people who could who could play good politics, who could understand what is the purpose of politics, who could find the route to heaven, sorg through politics, because politics is management of power. The purpose of power is not to putrefy. The purpose of law is not to snatch the property of others, to deny rights to others. The purpose of power is you are mighty. You must use this might to provide maximum to the people, to provide best to the people. That's why you are given the power. You are not given it to snatch it. You are not given to play with the dignity of the people. You are not given it to have more and more wealth for you. It's not. So dear friends, all what's done by we the teachers is we are doing a job. Most of the teacher, teachers are doing a job. I, I am telling you. And that job, they get the salary. They go and live a life and shameful. Maybe there are few. I was also mad. I am also mad. And I am possessing a great, a very fine madness. You'll not believe it. During the first 15 years of my service, I did not have a saving of even a single penny. I was knowing, not knowing it that there is something called as saving. Because I was knowing it only what I get, it, is, it belongs to everybody who is around me, who needs it. Maybe my student needs money to type his dissertation. My student needs it to purchase a book. My student needs it to have another shirt who he is having only one. Yes, but with, when I use it to observe the people, they were using this task for what? To have a house, to have another thing, to have another thing, to have a bigger car. That is the mind. Even today, where I am living, I have two parkings in my society. And I have the smallest car. They are purchasing a very big car. 
I asked them, what, what do you get out of it? And this can dissuade anybody. Why I'm saying this to you? Because most of the people who do LLM, they can get to teaching. If they don't get to teaching, it is not that you have to be a classroom teacher only. If you join after LLM, the bar, you must be different. The bar politics must change. And if you are the judge, the behavior of the judge must change. He must be after disposals because you are not now lex loci bachelorialis. You are now lex loci magister. Magister, LLM. When you are LLM, are you behaving in the same way? Very bad. Very bad. Wastage of time. Nothing getting. Dear friends, this being a magister must bring a change. And when after this lecture, you will get to another room to meet your mother. You must wish the mother now in a different way. She must feel that there is some change in my son, in my daughter. She is wishing me, he is wishing me in a better way, in an excellent way. And that must bring smile on the face of your mother. Develop that magistership. All the 200, 300 lectures you'll be attending in this year may bring a change in you. But I want this lecture should bring a better change in you. It should bring more change in you just today. No, it does not take much time to understand. You are now on a different pedestal. Your parents should feel a change in you, in your behavior, in your thought, in your being well composed, in your being very seasoned thinkers and you know, very different kinds of people. Even if you may not be possessing money or you are possessing it, it, it does not matter. So dear friends, the worth, the worth is measured by thought. The worth is measured by understanding. And sometimes if you find there is a big corporator and he is not worth it that he can talk sense, no. Because today, you can engage few MBAs and they can manage business for you. Give them money. They can build a corpus for you. But they cannot make you think as an LLM should think. And here I may say, I am a little bit robust sometimes. And generally, I am very compassionate. But that compassion sometimes gives me strength to say something hard. Once I was in a meeting with a vice chancellor and I told him, Mr. Vice Chancellor, you can make a person a dean. You have the power, but you cannot make a person a scholar. And he was in a shop. He could not talk for two minutes. I said, you. You have the power to make anybody a dean, a head, a professor. But you cannot make a person scholar if he is not. That we that you we could visibly you could become the son of the KP. You have the take a decision. And if you want to, you have to rise in your worth, in your capacity. You have to rise in terms of your knowledge, in terms of your understanding, in terms of your commitment, in terms of your of 
you must again and a wonderful thing happened one of the very good teachers of english literature he had not come waiting at and i heard it from distance though the next day i went to the principal's office to meet him i told him sir such and such professor s s wani is a brilliant professor and he is a brilliant teacher a great knowledgeable person a great communicator and don't you find a dignified teacher in him if tomorrow i get our gardener dress him in a very good three piece suit and then i also get a necktie for him will that gardener be a dignified teacher will the minister be happy on seeing him no no please change the mindset you dear friends you get identification by your spirit of service by your knowledge by your ability to communicate by your ability to think by your ob ability to observe by your ability to analyze by your ability to project things and by your ability to make happy if you believe in a god or you believe in nature and if none of them at least you must try to make by all these things happy professor wani and tell him some day that we have proved worthy of it we have done we had with the books we have a province of knowledge we have vetted ourselves for all times and all what is is the same observation analysis presentation service communication integrity and then all other things follow you can see money will follow with you i am not saying you should not work for money but if you want to work for money then you you have to seek it you have to go after it you have to search for it you have to tell to people i will win a case my students will be having the worth to win a case no but if you develop that capacity what i am talking about money shall follow you money shall chase you it shall be after you people will come with money to you please be with us please do this thing for us please have this thing for us that makes the difference and that's how you the llm people you are now joining the band of the people who are supposed to create knowledge who are supposed to teach who are supposed to learn too much that they can give to others that should be that much excellent that it is worth giving also but then i already said even if you don't want to become a teacher you want to become a corporate uh, advisor you have to teach there advisor is a teacher and when you will again join the profession for example you want to be the advocate lawyer then you have to teach everybody there you are again a teacher there because you are an lm and when you are a judge you can teach many things to the jurist community so in any case llm means a master and master is to give but he is a giver and giving comes only through it that's what i am saying that will be the difference between 
the virtue and evil. Yes, somebody may say there is the evil some stream not to. There are already people in it. There are already people doing it. And they earn a lot of money. And then they die. They die leaving that all money and palace behind. And then their grandchildren fight for that property. And they kill also each other. What is the fun of leaving that property behind? That's only, that's what I will say. That's not wisdom. The wisdom is that you do things in such a way you reflect it. My knowledge is my property. My understanding is my property. My commitment is my property. And money will follow. But that should never get into your mind. That should not dilute, dilute, dilute your ability, capacity, zeal for study, zeal for understanding, zeal for rendering service. That should never affect you. You should continue with it. Dear friends, here are examples. One day I was traveling in Shatabdi from Delhi to Ajmer. And then when we reached Jaipur, there was another person sitting with me on my side. I thought that this man must be thinking what sort of fellow he is. We are staying here for so many hours and he does not even wish me to talk to me. Then I talked to him. How are you, friend? What's your name? What are you doing? He said, I'm so and so and I'm doing business. I told him, do you do any other kind of service also for the society? He said, yes, I was doing, but now I am not doing. Oh, I said, oh, very bad. When you were doing it, very good. But you are not doing it now, very bad. He said, why bad? Because people don't change. You remain, they remain the same, even if you do anything for them. I said, oh, oh, I was thinking you are a very wise person. He said, yes, I am. Uh, how can you say I am not a wise person? I said, I, I will tell you. On this dharti, you, have you heard some Ramji came? He said, yes. I said, have you heard some Krishanji came? He said, yes. Have you heard that some Lord Buddha came? He said, yes. Have you heard any Nanak ji came? He said, yes. Have you heard any Garib Nawaz came, Ajmeri? He said, yes. I said, all of them came and they gave the shiksha of doing good things to the people. But even then, people are doing something different. When they did not change by Ram, Krishna and others, how do you think by you, you can change them altogether? And you have stopped doing good things for them? He said, yes. I did never think in this way. No, no, I promise you, I shall again be doing good things for the people. I shall have a better and positive vivas about anything. And then I shall be doing it. I told him, by that you will get more understanding. You will get more knowledge. You will get better health. And then if God wills, you will get better wealth also. And you will get better friends. Best of you may not have money. If you have very good friends, no. then uh, no worry. And uh, as uh, I can say, I have... Uh, very good friends like Professor Tarun and Professor uh, Mridul Shrivastava. I don't have any worry. No. Why? Why worry? We are together. We are going ahead. We are proceeding ahead. We claim to be the best in the country. And maybe tomorrow in the world, we'll go together. And then we'll have the best of the batch of LLM students. A very good batch of magisters with us. And then we can shine. We can be very bright. We'll write very good projects. 
will write very good assignments will have very good understanding of the subjects we are having and then people will remember it and when some of you will be the judges in high court and supreme court people must find a change and when some of you will be in the district court people will find a change when some of you and your students will be at the bar people must find a change because here is a group of people they do not believe in towing the line they do not believe it that this is happening in the court and we will also do the same thing this is how law is understood we will do the same thing no no yaar yeah. that's not and that's why if i say as if somebody teaches you the contract law somewhere or it has taught you he only keeps on saying in this judgment it was held in that judgment it was held what is all this are you a teacher and when somebody teaches the constitutional law then he only tells you in that judgment this thing had happened then somebody did like this in that case it was done like that and then this leader did this thing what stupid this is not the study of the law it's not the stud the law does not exist in the in that ink it exists somewhere somewhere which you don't understand you dear friends you are different students you must see the law actually it is existing in the society it is existing in thoughts it is existing in action it is existing in perception and that's why we didn't have the judges of the kind though with the exception of bhagavati and krishna here to them the law was not existing in that some judge in this case it was held like this in that case it was held like that no dear friends when law exists in perception i told you you just go and talk to your mother today wish her the way that she feels there is something you know talk to her in a way that you have something to give to the society to the people to the people around near and farther so if you ask her a question about the law in action in the society your mother knows many laws if you should tell her mother what should i do and what i should not do she with which you can live in the society if you persuade her she may be reluctant if you persuade her to give her opinion on certain issues problems in the society in the country in the world she holds an opinion the best of you will be the one who is able to persuade his mother or her mother to give an opinion about it there is the first step to understand the law there is the first thing to understand the true province of law and then only tomorrow you may be and your student may be able to tell to the judge kindly have the better understanding of the law and you are just you can take 5 minutes to understand the law dear judge you are wasting 5 years of the people the disputing litigating parties and still you don't understand it and then under which influence you dispose it off that's very you know uh, disappointing because nobody is happy neither the plaintiff nor the defendant mine is that every law exists in the society as such the constitution of india was not written by anybody the constitution of india was not written by anybody i am telling you this was written by the people who gave their life for the freedom of india this was written in the feelings of the people who were thinking of freedom during the freedom struggle this was written by the desires and wishes of the people of this country who wanted to be out of the british yoke 
and there was nothing put in this constitution other than that so it was written by their feelings it was written by their wishes it was written by their desires they were denied things things were extracted from them the wealth of the country was being looted not respected they were openly told indian dogs no so this was the voice of the people no and that's how you can see that when the first martyr journalist malvi bakir of delhi when he explained to the people through his akbar delhi its name was his newspaper was having the name of delhi akbar when he was explaining things to the people that how you should stand united in any case in any adversity again is the british exploitation he was called by then that by the british commander and black range but we want freedom we want freedom of expression we want is of talking about the constitution no then there those leaders also do not understand because they don't need, know actually where the constitution of india was written it was written during freedom struggle on, on the hearts of in the hearts of the people of india in the minds of the people of india in the slogans of the people of india on the blood of the people of india they wanted we want to be equal we want to have freedom of speech we want to have freedom of expression we want to have freedom of trade our raw material should not be taken by british companies and then they take away the money from us no they wanted we should do the trade we should have the freedom of trade we should not have that was the wife of those mothers who were giving to those people who was giving birth to bhagat singh who was giving birth to so many other martyrs of freedom struggle this constitution was the voice of the the heart of that mother song which was sung by the people during freedom struggle and that was transcribed in the form of the constitution of india their friends you understand things like this you have not just understand conf don't confine yourself to anybody whatever some judge or and and bad is the teacher who is only repeating the things that this in this case okay you tell them in this case but you must say i must be able to if the if the saying of the judge is not right and so much influencing i must be able to say it's not a very influencing kind of interpretation or this is the actual kind of thing you have to go to the actualities realities and dear friends you must have heard of an act that was earlier child marriage restraint act and now it is the prohibition of child marriage act 2006 it was earlier restraint of child marriage it was sharda act and some mr sharda was probably from rajasthan he had presented this in the central legislature what i have to say is that when you go to the realities of the things then you touch the realities and that sharda act the movement for this legislation was not started by any lawyer it was not started by any politician it was started by one medical doctor in mumbai because he was knowing as a medical doctor what are the sufferings of these child mothers what are the sufferings of and so many of uh, you know those young brides they were you know their husbands were dying and there was large number of child widows and they were knowing how the children of these mice started that moment and then what i mean to say that anybody with open eyes can see that there is a legal problem there is a social problem 
there is an economic problem there is a psychological problem there is any other kind of problem now and then the llm must be the best sensitive to understand all the problem he has to be the movement he has to start the movement he has to create the movement he has to establish the movement and if you don't develop that kind of thing then you are not serving what krishna wanted arjuna to do he did not want to remove the round and then you must have a good understanding whether something is wrong or not because people now through trickery can show you a good thing as wrong and wrong thing as good and that's all what is being done in the how the clients they judge the very bad but when you want to be truly a law person have a different vision even if the whole of the world 7 billion of the people think differently but my student at ambedkar law university jaipur must think different he must say i am the one i'll think differently i will think in terms of honesty and integrity i will think in terms of creation of knowledge which is based on real facts i'll believe in not in lopsided interpretation selfish interpretation motivated interpretation i'll believe in the truthful interpretation based on the facts scientifically test it then advance it and then influence all the 7 billion people my dear friends who has produced the future secretary general of the united nations has anybody told you that you cannot be has anybody told you that we will not be producing one of the best future chief justices of india has anybody told you that you we cannot at ambedkar university produce one of the best of the attorney generals for india solicitor general for india advocate general for raj state of rajasthan or any other state has anybody told you has anybody told you that we cannot have any good prime minister from your university best of the ministers for the country best of the serving people for the country has anybody told you and if anybody has told you or if your own mind tells you you are wrong they are wrong everybody is wrong i believe i trust it 100% we can do it you can be you have the potential you have the capacity and then best of it is professor vani is with you i may not be all the time with you but my blessings are always with you that he gives you good thinking he makes you blend things the best and you understand the idea india you understand the culture you understand everything positive we are having around dear friends do it take a vow don't think that you are not possessing this thing you may or may not be the son or daughter of a very rich person but you have the riches with you you have the mind you have already an llb degree and then you have a good group of good vision carrying in urge from this side to get to the height and you have an urge on the other side to get to the your vice chancellor is ved sarup my meaning of ved sarup is is a born phd born student degree holder of degree of philosophy and i think he has the vision i think he has the understanding i think he has the zeal i think he wants to do and i know i have seen him i think 
he is always thinking he should be the best vice chancellor and i think let us cooperate with him let us contribute the best from our side let us give our commitment we have many things to do in life and do every day can't we make a choice can't we make a choice dear friends if i ask a question how many of you have studied so far the stories short stories of premchand is premchand not as important as wordsworth is premchand not as important as john keats is premchand not important as leo tolstoy what has happened to you dear people of india why are you forgetting premchand why are you forgetting the people who have written about your society itself are there better thinkers than swami vivekananda here and there why don't you understand why don't you read them and why don't you learn them and then is there anybody better who has described the reality of life than asadullah khan ghalib is there any good composer than him in the world has this world seen any better composer so delicate kinds of things he has examined and projected can you reject him are you an indian and then in how many countries the literature about indian authors is being taught in the universities and we are teaching so many foreign authors we are teaching them in different schools colleges universities where are you is any indian author being taught anywhere where show me one place and you are sleeping where is our politician busy where is our bureaucracy busy where is our judge busy where are our lawyers busy who will carry forward the movement of the indian knowledge creation who will do it will you always remain with this thing that you will be you know carrying forward your clients this way and that way and teach the same thing to your students where are you don't you have any vision on that please question yourself and then you have a precious life precious life of another if you are at this time 20 25 try to get another 50 years of active life and then contribute do you want that you should have the atom bomb and then you will be any is then is there any professor of law here anybody in the world who understands the constitutionalism better than professor vani get one now you must have that confidence you must be be, be so much absorbed in things even if your society may not be knowing it, but you must have that you must possess that tell him who knows better the political social anthropological historical dimensions of anything any law contract constitution or anything like that intellectual property rights human rights so dear friends you are at a new pedestal a new gate has been opened for you and now you have to get into it in this new province identify it understand it look to its different aspects dimensions the ground the roof the floor the sides and then all you have to walk on watch it observe it think about it and then definitely you will find that you are different from what you were one hour before and that's how i would like to speak for another 50 hours but at the same time i think that 
I must get some questions from you so that I also learn few things from you because I only learn from my students. I have been lucky enough to have very good students. They teach, I understand them. They make, whenever I finish one class, I feel richer. It's not only my student he feels richer, I also feel. I have a better understanding of the society, better understanding of the law, and I know in them in the real, not as written in the book, not as said by anybody. Yes, I can see them even if they are not written. I can understand them even if they are not communicated in a written form. So dear friends, I wish that you get to things. I did say this way, I communicated on these things, but we'll be meeting. I have told you, give you the basics of it that I will do. And this time, let me leave it to you. Ask some questions, and you may be having certain confusions. You may be definitely having, since you are transforming, and at the time of transformation, when there is a transition, anybody has so many questions now. See, I can tell you, uh, once uh, we were discussing about uh, uh, some treaties, and then I'll not name the prime minister, uh, much before, uh, not the present one, I, will, I want to make it clear. Uh, and then somebody, uh, asked me since this has been signed uh, and uh, the prime minister has said like this, then I had to tell him I am more qualified than that prime minister. And I have a better vision than that prime minister. I have a better concern for the society than that prime minister. And I have a better vision than that prime minister. And if that prime minister has studied something somewhere, I have taught there this thing, this thing, that thing, that thing, that thing. So I want that our batch should not be an ordinary batch. It should be with, with, Good confidence. Please ask some question. Yes, Dr. Tarun Aroda, I think you want to ask something. Please go ahead. Tarunji? Professor Tarun can give some, uh, you know, he can praise me, he is my friend. <laughs> he, should, he, can, he will not put me into difficulties, I know. But uh, I so really want to ask that, something. Uh, uh, yes, yes, please come uh, forward. Hello, Assalamu alaikum, sir. Sir. Uh, sir, how are you, sir? Yeah. It's all uh, fine with your blessings and blessings of uh, our Jesu group, sir. So, yeah, yeah. sir, it had been really a <clears throat> pleasure to hear you after uh, so many days. And uh, many things we got from you to how to face the challenges and how to learn from the nature. Uh, so, uh, what do you feel that nowadays uh, when you were talking about freedom of speech and expression? Uh, me and Dr. Pathak uh, were a bit confused that how to strike the balance nowadays that the freedom of speech and expression in the present uh, social political scenario. Being an academician, where to strike this balance? Where is that thin line of difference that we should not be alleged to have, have committed a kind of dissent or something like that? So the student will be uh, grateful to you because my research scholars are also sitting and attending this program. So uh, they will be grateful to you that how to strike this balance between the academic freedom, freedom of speech and expression. And uh, we may not be uh, like to intrude what is the, what do they call dissent? 
more sadish i i i think uh, you know uh, this my lecture is not on freedom of speech my lecture is on this thing that, that the student should have the worth and understanding and the zeal to project the freedom of speech and when they will project it and they are doing it with honesty and sincerity ji they do it as it was desired by the people during freedom struggle then definitely they are the people who can define it and then the shortest route is make me the chief justice of india and i will deliver the judgment where a balanced line of thinking will be projected <laughs> i know you will not do it but still just to satisfy you a little whenever you have these kinds of academic confusions somebody has to give the sacrifice somebody has to project the things with honesty and somebody has to come forward and point out the guilt not with reference to a person but with reference to the wrong which is happening germe bentham he has given you the test of pleasure and pain when you are exceeding some action does it create pain or pleasure that is the main test and then in the present scenario i believe that this is a call to everybody people have become selfish selfish in the sense they don't want to strike the actual balance they want to defeat another person one he wants to defeat another person i think somebody must tell them and this is the right approach the right approach is that when we adopted the constitution of india it was adopted for attaining certain goals and you must speak anything wherever you are thinking that is the right version of it that is the right version i have not to give a decision please see any statement any policy any kind of thing whatever you do and then if you don't do it that omission is also going again as this that you are not using your freedom of speech and expression and that will make us fail in attainment of the goals of the constitution when we have if anything goes again as in just this again as justice social economic political when anything goes again as human dignity when anything goes again as fraternity you have the freedom to speak you have the freedom to express yourself that is the test and then if we fail to judge in that also that is why the law teachers have failed to fail to produce the good bureaucrats good police officers good politicians good just test is already in the constitution somebody must come forward and say what i say is in consonance with the advancement of the goals of the constitution i have a freedom to do that and then i have a freedom to stop you where your words your expressions your ideas they go against the advancement of the goals of the constitution that's important and the prime in them is fraternity fraternity is most important because that's the ultimate once we talk of justice equality liberty and anything then ultimately we talk of attaining the fraternity anything you do against that goal of fraternity i have a freedom to speak anything you are not doing for that attaining that goal of fraternity i have a freedom to speak to tell you please do it dear friends my dear academicians why they are not able to give the answers i was saying earlier they teach and learn only with reference to in this case it was held in that case it was held in this case it was held and they learn the constitution from pseudo scholars and that's why i say you learn it and read it from the heart at of the mother of bhagat singh what is written at the heart of the mother of bhagat singh what is written at the heart of other martyrs 
what is written at the heart of other truth bal ganga dar tilak what is written there that is the test if tilak would have appreciated it that is you have the freedom of speech and expression and then at that time don't accept any other test don't accept anything on this basis that a judge is saying i i would say these precedents uh, they they change themselves with convenience after some time no and they are not very much clear about these things what is clear is what is the voice of the people the mothers who gave birth to our freedom fighters and what they projected what they would have liked the people to say a poor man has a right to say that this is there is this goal for me in the constitution you are not doing it or you are doing something that goes against this so that's how the law teachers must make clear to the people to the students and others what are the goals of the constitution and then if goals of the constitution are clear on that basis whatever is in consonance with that you have a freedom to speak and express whatever goes against the goals of the constitution that way then you don't have it but at the same time people will muddle it because people some people believe might is right no that might must be found in the vision and that's how academic means academic does not believe in might of the arm power and muscle power academic believes in the power of logic and that is you know you can read and if you have a difficulty let me say another thing if you have a difficulty that the atmosphere is so much fogged in your country then please read please read and please read what is given in the universal instruments Answer. what is given in universal instruments see it read it understand it there is not it's not difficult there it the, the balance is there and then if anything remains then definitely i as in the earlier you had some uh, that uh, this uh, bangalore law school and versus something there was something about that written test i said at that time what sort of professors of law we are having in this country that they are not able to resolve it at home in a meeting this kind of con where are they going to the supreme court to tell us what should we do our supreme court judges your students are your masters what so what has happened to the law teachers of this country why can't they resolve this issue which is in their home they are not resolving at home and then when they think of you know striking the balance in these things i think they must have introspection understanding and see it in the context and if they fail then please go directly to the international instruments and see it and that's uh, you know that's what i can say i am mm. saying all this with concern because of the students who are getting admission who have got admission in ambedkar law university mm. i want them to have a clean slate have a zeal love for books love for society love for nation and then try to see the things in real and contribute and they must have the courage then to say what is right and what is wrong they must be able to say anything to anybody on the basis of facts now we have a different experience we can't believe anybody he if he tells us i am god we have an experience we cannot believe any person if he says i am on the side of the god no why can't a person very frankly express himself that he is not having the fear and therefore he must get it you know technically he is committing the offense but otherwise we have to help him before committing the offense we have to help him that he does not commit it so we arrange the ticket for him and after it if he has done it now this is not so severe an offense we can see whether it is uh, what for what is the purpose and then we can see yes and we can ask uh, any any philanthropic agency i'll again say if i am the judge i'll ask any i will give a phone call to a philanthropic agency that please you have missed your task you are collecting lot of funds for your ngo for other things pay this much to him 
and also advise them that why don't you take care of the people who cannot travel even to visit their uh, you know dear ones and near ones even once in a year why don't you take some measures so dear uh, you know this um, friends uh, please see uh, that uh, this kind of thing is not purely a question of technical disposal it is a question of integrating uh, social aspects economic aspects political aspects and when we have developed the concept of legal aid what does it mean it again means that the person is not able to plead himself mm. the person is not able to get access to the court and you have caught him then i will ask the legal aid people please represent him then we will see that what sort of court is provided for them. and if it is not then we have so many obiters in judgments and we and obiters that there must be these kinds of treatment is done it for not section we have developed the false money he does not have the respect that's why they commit these kinds of thing it's not basically look at from psychological social point of view it's not that guilt which deserves punishment and we can let him go and ask him to pay 50 paisa or and that also since you cannot pay it we ask the legal aid agency to provide you the vehicle so that they drop you at your home you pay the you pay the penalty of 1 rupee but ask the legal aid people legal service people please hire a taxi for 1000 rupees and drop him at home this is how i would see it how judge how justice is done justice is not merely that somebody did something and you are providing a put him behind the bars and uh, um, i will tell you in 2009 we had a study in tihar jail not as other law schools do it they they call it jail visit us no we did not do that we prepared a questionnaire and in that questionnaire we wanted to know the status of the prisoners there and for how long they have been there what is their offense who is their legal aid lawyer uh, and uh, at which stage is their trial we had an actual not believe it there was somebody who had pickpocketed somebody and taken 500 rupees and he was languishing in jail for 6 months i wrote a note on it that he is eating up the money i am paying as the tax now you have put him in jail for 500 rupees he has used this much this in the jail and you are not you know you 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 know take some action in it why are you putting him there continuously and then you will not believe it that chief justice of delhi he called us to his court and said you have submitted this these reports have you really done this study i told him yes i have done it and then uh, all the students were with me he asked questions from them and that's uh, you must have heard then that, that a right was given to the prisoners to give a phone call by mobile to their uh, relatives and to home people it was done on that basis i think uh, we have to you know get in a different way and uh, we have we have to do justice rather than you know enforce exclusively the law as a machine we have not to go like a slot machine uh, that these are the facts and therefore this is the punishment no it's not justice is not a slot machine justice is justice then we can a clerk can do it you feed the data whatever is the result we can use artificial intelligence for that why do we need a judge because the judge will apply the human mind he will see how much what punishment what reward is to be given he will think on the basis of the facts so that's how our jurisprudence must develop and we should do like that but then again i will tell you i shall not believe in precedents there also i shall believe in the mind mind of the teacher mind of the lawyer mind of the judge and mind of the society they must be having honesty integrity and then advocacy is not that you are knowing the tricks how to play in the court advocacy is that you are knowing the method how to expose the truth and how to expose the falsehood that is advocacy 
and then nobody should be afraid of it that he will not get the cases he is honest no he will get more because if there are out of 3 crore cases if 3 if 3 crore people are wrong 3 crore prob- uh, these uh, you know uh, parties are wrong then another 3 crore are correct also because one side is correct so why do people only focus on the wrong side of it why do they have it in mind that we'll have to always go for proving something which otherwise is not there they must think that there are is equal number of people who are on the side of honesty who are on the side of truth who are on the side of law so that's how a good lawyer must think of and that's how a lawyer must you know develop a teacher must develop the minds uh, that way so that's uh, my short response and we can have uh, some th- this is a very big topic you can have sometimes a uh, a full program a one day program on that oh. if uh, you are uh, you know uh, yeah. professor uh, mridul ji accepts oh. it can be a very brilliant kind of thing oh. and you are also i already said you are a good thinker you can do that thank you so much you any any other please uh, vice chancellor dr dev sarup sir is here request him oh to oh my to god oh ho was he here in my oh ho wani sahab adab sir adab to i was i was uh, in a way saying something against you during the program <laughs> that's nice i respect your feelings always <laughs> i am sure that uh, you must have uh explain the truth about the life certain principles certain procedures certain practices and uh, things related to the profession as well so it's a great occasion to have you here and uh, besides our own students there are several other academicians also joined this session uh, these are an, an attempts to uh, create a synergy yes and yes. to bring everybody together yeah as we all know that specific uh, uh teaching classes will are going to start very soon yes so uh, in that process an attempt to bring all such people here providing an opportunity to have interactions with them and uh, uh i'm sure that uh, tarun ji also made certain observations diksha also made certain certain observations but uh, and you very nicely explained everything so at this juncture i would like to thank you vani sahab and i would like to thank <laughs> all the participants Uh, we mean business and uh, this is all part of the business and uh, yeah. formally uh, academic session with regular teaching is also going to start mridul ji will uh, tell in detail about that so with this vani sahab bahut bahut shukriya thank you sir thank you god bahut bless you aapne jo bhi bola hoga bahut acha bola hoga nahi nahi humne humne ye bataya ki is university ka vice chancellor ved sarup hai तो वेद स्वरूप का मतलब होते है बॉर्न पी एच डी बॉर्न विद डिग्री ऑफ फिलोसफी सो ही इज हैविंग ए जील टू मेक दिस यूनिवर्सिटी द बेस्ट एंड वी मस्ट कॉपरेट विद हिम एज स्टूडेंट एज टीचर्स एज अदर्स एंड वी मस्ट ट्राई टू मेक इट द बेस्ट दैट्स हाउ आई आई एक्सप्लेन यूर नेम मैं वाणी साहब एक शेर सुना देता हूँ इस बात पे तो शेर सुना सुना के काम चलाता रहूंगा वाह 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 कि फासला कम अगर नहीं होता हां फैसला उम्र भर नहीं होता वाह वाह हां फैसला ही बहुत जरूरी है दैट्स व्हाट आई वाज सेइंग फासला फासला कम अगर नहीं होता हां फैसला उम्र भर नहीं होता हां कौन सुनता मेरी कहानी को जितना तेरा अगर नहीं होता वाह 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 दैट्स कहानी एक दूसरे के बिना अधूरी है यस यस और हम इस कहानी को बहुत यादगार लाजवाब बेहतरीन बनाएंगे बहुत अच्छे से बने और हम बनेंगे भविष्य में ऊंचाइयों को तय करेंगे हमारे स्टूडेंट्स बहुत ही टैलेंटेड हैं बहुत ही कमिटेड हैं एंड एंथुजास्टिक हैं 
सो वेरी सुन आई वांट टू स्टार्ट द सर सर मैं एक एक वर्ड कहना चाहूंगा व्हिच आई शुड हैव सेड अर्लियर दैट दैट वी शुड वी शुड लर्न अ लॉट फ्रॉम द स्ट्रगल एंड द एफर्ट्स एंड एंडेवर ऑफ बाबा साहब भीमराव अंबेडकर Uh, and uh, anybody among us you should try to you know read uh, about his biography and about him and uh, also uh, uh, the places where he studied and the places where he served and the way he served and uh, his uh, you know maintaining his integrity and honesty and then uh, uh, scholarship and uh, throughout across the countries uh i think uh, we have a mentor that way uh and uh, you must be uh you know doing that line that how he survived in difficult situation uske liye humne main sochta hu ki uske liye hum kuch talks deliver karayenge hamare kuch eminent scholars hain professor former vice chancellor ugc professor thorat hain ya 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 kar hain professor narendra jadhav hain they are all on authority on ambedkar yes yes yeah yeah and yeah. they will join us and will deliver their talks uh, i'm Sir, sure that besides formal uh, learning processes it is necessary yes to Sir. have such talks and to <clears throat> have more interactions i think more interactions are very much needed sir main class mein hu fir baat karunga sir tarun tarun bol raha hu sir suna ha सर पांच तारीख को वो है महापरिनिर्वाण दिवस है बाबा साहब का तो अगला प्रोग्राम कुछ उसी दिन शेड्यूल कर लेते हैं सर पांच को नहीं है छह को है तरुण जी छह को हमारे यहाँ पांच को कर रहे हैं हम एक दिन पहले कर रहे हैं पर वैसे छह छह दिसंबर छह को है हाँ जी और उस पर भी सोचेंगे कुछ विचार करेंगे सर और रिक्वेस्ट करेंगे किसी एमिनेंट स्कॉलर से अगर हमारे स्टूडेंट्स हम देखेंगे हमारे स्टूडेंट्स का कैसा इंटरेस्ट है उनको हम एंगेज करेंगे और मृदुल जी आज बताएंगे कि हमारी रेगुलर क्लासेस का क्या शेड्यूल है और किस तरह से हम वी आर गोइंग टू इम्पार्ट अवर रेगुलर टीचिंग आल्सो सो थैंक यू तरुण जी फॉर योर काइंड सजेशन विल मेक इट डेफिनेटली विल विल ट्राई टू मेक इट राइट एंड वाणी साहब बहुत बहुत आदा बहुत शुक्रिया सर थैंक यू सो मच गॉड ब्लेस यू सर थैंक यू थैंक यू सर थैंक यू वेरी मच एंड टूगेदर वी विल एश्योर यू सर दैट दिस फर्स्ट बैच ऑफ एल of ambedkar law university will definitely be on different pedestal think differently and do such things what you have suggested and they will totally be a different kind of persons so we are really fortunate to have you with us this morning sir for this online session we are grateful for the time you have given to us from your busy schedule sir this session was really interesting and enlightening for all of us we look forward to many more such interactions with you sir i would also like to announce here to our students that as a part of our curriculum professor vani has kindly consented to deliver lectures on one of the compulsory papers of your course and that is about legal methods legal writing and we will soon send you the syllabus and all with this i want to announce today itself that the commencement of your regular classes will be from monday that is 7th december time table of the same will be shared with you all very soon groups for the specialization as per your uh, choice uh, we have made it and i think we'll mail it to you today itself and at this juncture this is to remind you that 75% attendance is compulsory just a reminder for you all now i take this opportunity to thank our vice chancellor also and you know without his constant support continuous encouragement guidance it would not have been possible to reach at this stage in very short time thank you sir for always being there with us it's my pleasure to thank my colleagues my friends who have joined this session in spite of this busy schedule i am thankful to our technical team also thank you all once again thank you vani sir for being with us always thank you Achha. so much stay stay acha madam ye jo aap ye jo aapki technical team hai unko batana mujhe ye recording bhej dein ji sir zarur zarur ha ha main bhej dunga achhi baat okay okay theek thank you okay, god bless you thank you sir okay, living god bless you thank you so much sir. thank you thank you so much
थैंक यू मैम थैंक यू मैडम वेरी मच